Uh, greetings, Gemini, and welcome uh, to your reading today. And whenever this finds you, it's meant for you. And let's dive right in and see. Well, uh, your nine of cups, a wish of fulfillment is coming in. Uh, you've put out this wish and it's coming for you. And at the bottom of the deck, it's coming because you've been uh, balancing and alchemizing and tempering yourself uh, and preparing yourself for uh, this um, new uh, change that you're becoming something different and using a lot of different aspects of yourself in unique ways. And you might even not be uh, recognizing yourself, Gemini, but it's coming with a lot of, uh, of a sense of a wish fulfillment and happiness. And you're moving toward this oh, quickly with a lot of um, self-control and triumph over your uh, willpower. And uh, let's dive right in and see what the cards have for a Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. And you begin the general energy as you come to this reading is uh, the king of uh, pentacles. It's about money. What you're thinking about right now is about your wealth, about being the leader of your own uh, problem solving skills in terms of investments, money, uh, strategizing, um, uh, how you're uh, dealing with taxes and a sale of property or uh, your work itself, your career moves. You're the breadwinner. Uh, that's the energy around you. And uh, the challenge to that is the lovers with something about a commitment, a partnership, a choice you have made maybe in the past uh, that is a uh, challenging your money. Uh, there could have been um, a choosing between two different people uh, in a partnership. It could have been a business partnership because uh, this does have to do with business. And the uh, lovers, although it looks like the lovers, it's really uh, traditionally it's a card of making a choice uh, between one thing and another. And in this situation, it could be uh, between one investment and another and uh, what this partnership is going to bring you. But at the foundation is another king, the king of wands. Well, this king sits on the throne um, of passion, of uh, entrepreneurial energy. You could be um, this entrepreneur and taking leadership over your money and having to make some choices in a partnership about how best to do that because the king of wands is very intuitive and they know uh, with confidence what's right, or what's a good choice, how to make money uh, and how to take uh, an idea, a vision and move it toward uh, where it becomes not only a vision, but you've got the coin there to prove that this was the right choice in whether it was romantic or in business or in a <clears throat> situation that you're working on. But in the past, you got some clarity and truth uh, and you're gonna be victorious. Uh, this is a gift maybe uh, from your own mind, like suddenly something dawns on you in your mind, like I've seen this truth about it. And that happened recently. You got clarity. And now with this clarity, uh, you're downloading a, a, a judgment. You're having a wake up call about this partnership. And you're waking up to uh, this. Um, you see that both the lovers and the judgment have these um, a cherubs or angels coming down uh, from the heavens. So there is this announcement uh, from uh, your higher power, uh, from within your mind, uh, from something you might even be hearing. Uh, but it's going to wake you up from the dead. You might have been just going through things, going through the motions, being asleep at the wheel. But some truth recently is making you wake up and have to make a decision. And you are making the decision about this partnership, whether you want to take leadership and keep going with passion and confidence uh, toward making money or right now, well, you've got the um, empress. Well, you're going to be very um, Gemini, very uh, fruitful, abundant, uh, productive, uh, and also uh, have this creative energy around you. And that's what you're waking up to, how productive you are, how much abundance you have around you already. 
and it's because she has her finger up and she's pointing because she's uh, been connected all along to our own uh, inner nature and to the nature of earth itself, but to uh, as above, so below. And there is going to be beauty and um, love. The ability to give and receive love is coming from this wake-up call. And it's coming because of the sun. Well, Gemini, the sun is shining, and you've got the ace of swords, and now the sun. So you see clearly now uh, something about your wealth, uh, something about uh, this money that you have developed over time with a lot of energy and confidence. And because you've got this son and the lovers, it has something to do with whatever this choice was, is, was the right one. And it brought you a lot of happiness and success and healing and optimism. And that's how you're thinking about this wealth, this money. And the energy in your environment is the four of wands, celebration, happiness. You come to something about a property, a building, a finish line, a goal, a rite of passage, and you're going to celebrate with others under the light of the sun with optimism and clarity. And that's coming in from those around you, the influence of the environment. And your hope and fear is uh, that uh, you're going to feel this um, new offering, a blessing, something coming up in terms of a feeling of um, happiness, of joy, of love, um, of satisfaction in that sense of what has been offered and what you've gone toward. And it's coming, but there is the advice. You've got to make this choice. This decision has to be made at this time. Something about this love offer that you're seeing very clearly with the ace as well. And a wake-up call is coming about yourself or someone else, and you're going to have to make a decision. And uh, the advice is to make this decision with a new beginning. Out with the old, in with the new, this flash of an idea that is an insight that said, I've got to go for this passionately. And it's going to come with, wow, the ace of pentacles uh, as well. So whatever this choice you make um, with the sun, with this clarity, this wake-up call, it's going to bring you um, uh, three of the aces. <laughs> So whenever you come upon this Gemini, this new beginning is coming. Uh, it's non-stoppable. And you're waking up to it. And it's going to bring you a lot of wealth, health, success, abundance, prosperity, and love. And so it is, Gemini. I'm so happy for you. And if you resonate with this, uh, please subscribe to my channel so you'll get more readings uh, like this whenever they are coming here for you at this time. And leave me comments and a thumbs up. And you are loved wherever you are on the planet. Let me know. Have a great day. Bye-bye.